Go for the white mage, I think. Marking him off, and ult. Pushing that power. Got him. He's dead. He's immortal at the minute, though. Send him down. He's not immortal from full damage. Send me further. Got him. Hit him the There's barber next to the combat. Hard down. Spend. Not back. Ult. Nice. Might be able to get chainsaw on him now. <laughs> he shouted as well. Let's just slide on in a little bit. The you little bugger! Ah, oh, oh, you are so punched. Oh, I'm all in him. Fuck this. <laughs> I got the kill. Welcome back, everybody. It is finally time for my advanced PvP guide on the Monk, a personal favorite of mine, and a DPS that excels when brawling, alongside an ultimate that can be used in several different manners, be it to confirm kills, shut down someone's guard, or to generally deal huge amounts of damage. Make the Monk a pure devil to those range classes. If you're a regular to frontline, particularly Borderland Ruins, I'm sure you've seen a Monk or two throwing your team from the high ground to their deaths. I also want to say a big thank you to everyone, and hello to anyone new. Thanks to your help, I recently just passed 450 subscribers, and I am just happy to see you are all enjoying the content. Thanks for clicking on today's video, and without any further delay, let's get into it. The Monk is one of five midi DPS roles. Firstly, you have the Reigning King, the Dragoon, a class is capable of some amazing burst damage, which comes at the cost of taking more damage and having a fairly lengthy downtime until cooldowns reset. Unsuspecting players can quickly find themselves on the respawn, and their ultimate Sky Shatter devastates entire squads, helping secure their place as the King of DPS. And up next, we have the Ninja. While also capable of some decent damage, their true strength lies within their survivability. They are also the only hybrid midi job that could stay back fully dealing range damage with ease. And their ultimate, while not the most powerful, with the right situation can rack up many kills. Getting your ultimate refunded should the target die within a select time period. Thirdly, you have the Reaper, possibly the hardest DPS to learn. Amazing at disruption. They have one of the fastest ultimate charge rates out of any class, applying high hysteria to anyone struck and forcing players to drop their guard and lose control. They come equipped with a shield that, once shattered, applies regen to themselves and nearby party members. And to top it all off, with enough patience and prep, Reapers can deal so much damage so fast, you will die within a blink of an eye. Next, we have the Samurai, notably the most feared of the DPS jobs out there, thanks to their ultimate ability to one-shot any target struck under the right conditions. High damage alongside their stuns and mass bind allow the Samurai to punish players caught out in the open. So you're probably wondering, where does the Monk fare? To begin, they have the best movement out of all the melee jobs, able to hold the free charges of their dash at any given time, dashing also applying shielding to either yourself or a team member, depending on the target you dash to, being it party member or an enemy. And yet you have a long main rotation, but this allows for continuous pressure, while timing for large damage combos, and your ultimate is by far the best of all the melee jobs out there, fast charging and devastating to single targets, capable of shutting down guard and immobilizing players, and depending on how you use it, it can deal up to 36,000 damage. And let's not forget the knockback, allowing for cheeky plays on specific maps. To begin, the Monk has the longest main combo rotation. Boot Shine, True Strike, Snap Punch, Dragon Kick, Twin Snakes, Demolish, and then finally into Phantom Rush. Phantom Rush being the strongest of this skill rotation. Using the action called Rising Phoenix, you will increase the weapon skill damage by an additional 50%. You should aim to combo your Rising Phoenix with Phantom Rush to hit that sweet 15,000 damage. However, depending where you are in the rotation, as well as how weak a target is, you yourself need to decide, is it worth boosting another skill in order to secure a kill? Next you have the Thunderclap. This is your means to engage and disengage. This will firstly reduce your weapon skill recast timers by 10%. Now, if you dash to an enemy, you yourself will be granted a barrier. If you instead dash to a party member, they receive the barrier. In frontline, this is best used for yourself. However, within Crystalline Conflict, keep an eye on your squishies. The barrier you could give can be life-saving. Rising Phoenix, as I have already mentioned, will buff your next weapon skill by 50%. If you're looking to maximize damage, combo these with Phantom Rush and Enlightenment. 
And for your ultimate, you have the Meteo Dive, the best melee ultimate for securing kills, thanks to its multiple of uses and combos. I see a lot of monks fail to achieve anything when ulting. To break it down, firstly, Meteor Dive deals a base damage of 12,000. Now, this is where many players get confused. If you ult a player with guard active, firstly, their guard is removed, and for three seconds, they are unable to move while dealing that 12,000 damage. You would do this to ensure the targets don't escape, especially hard to kill targets such as tanks and ninjas. Now, if your target does not have guard active, you will deal an additional 12,000 damage on top of that base 12,000 for a total of 24,000. Again, another great way to burn down a target. However, there is a third way to use the ultimate, and I see very few monks doing this. Strike your target with enlightenment. Should that player successfully get knocked back, the moment you see the knockback pushing the target, without delay, pop a Meteor Dive. This ensures another 12,000 damage. A base damage of 12,000, with an additional 12,000 for the no guard active, with a third 12,000 for the knockback, deals a huge 36,000 damage. And there is a god combo you can do with this. Firstly, you need to be Phantom Rush ready. Dash to a target, Rising Phoenix into Phantom Rush, followed by Six-Sided Star for the stun. Follow this with your second Rising Phoenix into Enlightenment. Their stun should only just be wearing off at this stage, so the knockback is pretty much guaranteed. As soon as your target is being knocked away, hit that Meteo Dive. In Crystalline Conflict, this combo is amazing. Within seconds, you can take out pesky backline targets, putting your team up one in the battle. And your final action is the Riddle of Earth. You want to activate this when you're getting aggressive, as this will begin compiling any damage you receive. Once you follow up with Earth's Reply, you strike for 2,000 damage, plus 25% of that compiled damage you received alongside a cure for 4,000 and 50% bonus of that compiled damage, sometimes being the very life thread you need. You have extremely high burst damage against single targets, and with Thunderclap shielding and Riddle of Earth healing combined, you can be very hard to kill. Thanks to your high mobility, you can very easily keep up the chase, making it extremely difficult for enemies to escape you. And your ultimate Meteo Dive is just amazing. The ability to deal up to 36,000 damage or shut down shields. Can flip battles and shut down problem classes fast. Thanks to your ability to dash to both enemies and party members, escaping battles can be very easy. Additionally, dashing to party members grants them shielding, making you the ideal class to jump back and protect the team. A big weakness is the long rotation time. The damage has since received a buff, but Monk will always have that window in which they need to take it slow, plan, and then burst. Secondly, you'll very often be diving into battle. If you are not aware of what you're getting into, regardless of your shielding, you'll find yourself dead within seconds. You can hold three charges of the Thunderclap, but should you run out, you will find yourself unable to make an impact in a fight, also with no means of escape. And finally, the Monk needs to be played with confidence, but getting too confident will result in mistakes and early deaths. Always try to read the situation before you dive in. And one last big tip for Monk players, get creative with Enlightenment. Seal Rock and Fields of Glory have select areas around the map in which players can be knocked off to their death. Rare opportunities also occur on Ansel Hakair. Borderland Ruins, however, is a Monk's playground. Get up top early before the drones spawn in. Block your opponents from getting up there and knock them off the ramps. And that is everything you need to know to begin shining on the monk. Up next is the monk in action during some seal rock. Thanks again for clicking on today's video, and I shall see you all in the next one. There you go. Middle and north. Ha ha ha. Into the crevasse. Oh, I found a way. Why is it dripping in my cap and jump? Oh, my God. Stand to the team. Oh, at least he got his AI waves off of it. Hmm? Ah, <laughs> oh, the kill got robbed by the enemy team. Didn't even get yeah. contribution. Oh my god, we're going to that thing. They stunned the bard as well. Come on. Oh my god. I got yoinked and then stunned. Then I'm stunned. backing out. I got two clean kills, but they got robbed by blue. I'm going to push north because they're pushing in the cave. Oh, fuck. Get out while we're here. Hello, Reaper. Okay, goodbye, Reaper. On Samurai, who are you? 
Cool. One shot combo. On the people that just walked in. Clean. Oh, hello, machinist. Hey, 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 hey. Machinist again. That's how you're going into death. Were you? <laughs> do you know the, uh, the pressure point where you do like the little Hadouken punch? Just did that to a machinist's ass and he went flying. Dead. Gee, yeah. A <laughs> little bit, little bit. It's a little bit like my knuckles. <laughs> That's, like, That's a good thing. <laughs> it does. Backing off a little bit. Oh, that drag going now. Beautiful. This machine is alone behind. One hit. Got him. Yeah, he was. Start backing out because we have blues behind as well. I know, I know. They're trying to get your toes. You see that Astro? Yeah. I'm going to go for him. Fuck that little break him. Little break him. That Ash got uh, ordered. With high studio. Yeah. Go for the warrior. Where's Critical? Oh. He's still one. The machine is hit. It's just AFK. Let's go for this work because he's, uh, he's got nothing left really. Okay. Send him. And he can't guard either. He's a free kill. Mm, if you if our team start joining. Send him. Yes. Well, Red's coming in behind. Let's keep it true. We've got Red's rushing in. There's a machinist. Oh, I got him. Red's behind. Go for the bard. Run well, the team back to the line. No, mind that team didn't come over at all. I got no, solo down to it. The team not realised we have to kind of clear these offers first. They're not, they're not doing it. They're like, hmm, there's someone else to it. <laughs> Ninja. On him. Where is that team? Okay, I'm gonna go up, because I've got an ult. Oh no, 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 oh. more reds behind, more reds behind. You want an ult or can go on the Ah, they see me following up on these hits. We can't get off the loose, we've got red still. Yeah, no, I used uh, escape. You did what? <laughs> yeah, How I'm dare one. you waste such a fine ultimate? That dancer's one. Easily! Can someone finish this dancer already? Can someone I've put him on one ten times now. Come on! Finally! On the machinist. Stunned him. He dead. Sage next. Are you there? Huh? Um, uh, so I'll get away. Sage is half. Wait, 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 wait. He's critical. See him, see him. He dead. Not my machinist. No. It's on him now. He's a free kill. Beautiful. He really wants me to attack it. Dragoon for some reason. <laughs> what are Reds doing? Yeah, push us somewhere. I'm getting some monk on point because he's doing pop. Get instant spend. I'll go for that monk. Then there he go. You're my god. Ah, down. Machine's coming out of his guard. Yes, 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 big. Gonna stun this machine in a second. Oh, Sage, stun him. Hey. Clean, four kills. Come here, Samurai. 
You're fu your funny guy. <laughs> Somebody battle high. No, it's not mine. Send him. <laughs> and back we go. Oh, monk, monk, monk. I guess monk. I'm trying to play him. <laughs> nice, we're in Skiffar for a minute. Oh, we're back out next round. We've now got blues in spawn. Should just all I go after blue. Go. How could we go for blue? We literally had red in our spawn for the past three minutes. Now we can go for blue, though. And we've got better battle highs for it. Push an inch back into our team. That's funny moment number 12. And for the dancer. Switching for a warrior, Stundum. Getting ready for now. He's just high steward. I've been his carry. I'm on him. Push the side track to our team. Stundum. Limits breaking the murder. Oh, no one in our team focused him. That was a free kill for anyone. I'm going to Nope. Could not get away. Push the warrior over. Hey, hey, hey. On the way back now. Very nice, very nice. We're pushing the blues. I'll push this white match back as soon as this guy breaks. <laughs> God, the monk. It's not out. I don't mind if I do. Don't mind if you do. Can't go push into the chokes. We need to get more bottles. It's the only uh, it's 800 in this one. Do have a limit break for them? Oh, I got that blood mage to one. Oh, come on. Limb break them in. I'll just sell a limb break by a white mage. Airway damage, stern. And turn to Lillian. Then dance for it. Then stern. And I'm dead. Almost there. I've been yoinked. That's what happens to me, Lego. I'd like to be able to control my character, please, and thank you. Yeah, it's a enough now, getting ready for new zones. Try it again. Not a very good, uh, you know, game. That's about right so far. I had that one death just because I used every ultimate. It started with White Mage into Dancer into Warrior. Oh, if we get middle as well, that gives us a good chance. We've got Blues rushing the beach one. Let's get that White Mage. And then we'll get paid. We got the entire blue alliance here. Yeah, yes, we should kill them and then go get the other two, and then we're good. Asher what? Go for machinist. I got Red's coming out the trick behind. Getting reds back into their choke. Oh, they really want me. Looks 
say, stop stunning me. Last Sage. Stun them. Push them out. Oh, it sounds nice. I gotta heal. Tell me about it. No, I have to heal, otherwise I'd be dead. Yeah, I, I know the feeling. Rip up. Yes. On the bot. I'm machine set. You dead. Oh, go for that ass. We get that, we can win. Through the mid. So it tells me you can get a spicy limit break here. Going on. You cannot use this action at this, uh, on this target at this time. It's just an AFK Dragoon, I'm trying to kill it. Oh, maybe it's lagged out. So if you lag out, you uh, character stays in, doesn't it? That was super fucking weird there. Mission Oh, very much. The team needs to leave here and I'll get kills. On the machinist. Yes, big. Let's go. Still the warrior. Keep bringing them down, keep bringing them down. Nice. That's what this. Oh, I got insta kill. Chinus. Bonk. Oh, I'm not. Big pile of them. Five knockout. Hey, we came hey, back. Totally. 7, 2, 36, 1.2 million. Just short of 1.3.